Well, welcome back. It is another Wild Wednesday, and we are learning about the hognose snake. For this Wild Wednesday, we have education specialist Natalie Erickson joining us with Winnie. Thanks for being here bright and early. Yeah, thanks for having us. So you were just telling us something really neat about her specifically is that she's native to the, this area. Yeah, hognose snakes are a snake that can be found throughout South Dakota. And so if you're ever out and about in areas that are a little bit sandier, a little bit rockier, it's possible that you will see one. They do mm -hmm. look a little bit like rattlesnakes, some people think, with their pattern that mm -hmm. they have but they are not a rattlesnake, <laughs> so you have nothing to worry about with them. And honestly, like most wild animals, they're going to be more afraid of you than you are of them. Mm -hmm. Probably cause a little bit of an alarm if you <laughs> run into it. You said they have a little bit of venom in them. Just a little bit, yeah. It is about as toxic as the venom of a bee sting. So okay. they're not a snake that you need to worry if you get bit. There's always a chance that you could have some sort of allergic reaction mm -hmm. to it. It happens with a variety of things found in nature. But for the most part, anyone who comes in contact with these is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the kind of size? Is this her, her final size here? So yeah, kind of so she she's gets? seven years old. And oh, wow. so for her, she's not going to get any bigger than this. Okay. Females do typically get to be about two to three feet, where males are more about one and a half to two feet. So she's a little bit small, but at this point in her life, she's not going to grow anymore. Okay. You have quite a few different breeds of snakes at the zoo, right? We do. I mean, how many yeah. different, different snakes do you have? <laughs> if you're putting you on the spot here. It's okay. <laughs> we have quite a few ambassador snakes. Yeah. We have some different types of boas. We have python. We've got some milk snakes. We have winnie. Yeah. Out and about in the zoo, you're going to be able to see one of our red-tailed boas, as well as another one who's not an ambassador. Mm -hmm. So not too many, but still a pretty nice variety. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned there's something happening this weekend. There is, yeah. So this weekend we're celebrating Party for the Planet. That is an event that is put on nationwide by facilities that are accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Mm -hmm. And since the Great Plains Zoo is one of those organizations that's accredited, we are going to be having all sorts of fun things happening. We're also going to be hosting a river cleanup right on grounds. Okay. Oh, cool. So people will be able to come to the zoo. We'll give them a kit. They'll be able to help us clean up our own natural areas. And then the first, I believe, 200 people that visit will get their own cleanup kit that they can then take home, and they can do some cleanup of their own. Oh, how wonderful is that? Because April is Earth, Earth Month. Yeah, April yeah. 22nd is Earth Day. Earth Day. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. And the weather is warming up, so a lot of people are Go getting out. out to the zoo, get those season, get those tickets Yeah. as well. You don't see the animals you have. Huh? Yeah, we have been getting busier as the weather warms up, yeah. which is always a great thing to see. Well, wonderful. Great to see you and Winnie this yeah, morning. Winnie. Winnie wants to look like... Uh, she's in inquisitive. She's just <laughs> curious. Around, yeah, she's very curious. She's nice and warm from her <laughs> transport <laughs> she, area. <laughs> Well, thanks for being here and stay with us. We're going to go send it over to Aaron. All right.